All right, so I got my laptop fired up here and we are on YouTube looking at some copyright free uh, music videos here. And so when I push play, it's just gonna play through the computer speaker here. So I'm gonna hit stop. Now right next to the computer, we have a little circuit board with a nine volt battery powering an LED and the LED is in series with two resistors. Um, so just putting those in there to you know protect the LED so that's got a uh, doesn't get too much current. And what we're gonna do now is um, add a little something to this circuit. So over here at the computer's headphone jack, um, we're gonna plug in a wire or plug in the headphone jack. But this time, instead of the headphone jack being connected to a pair of headphones, um, what I've done is I've broken the, or, you know, cut the cable, and the the leads or the signal from the um, the cable um, are going into um, these wires right here. So this LED is being driven by a steady direct current from the battery. And what we're gonna do is take the signal from this headphone jack and I'm gonna bring it in so that it kind of rides on top of the signal that's in this circuit. I'm actually gonna put the, um, set it up so that the headphone jack, the leads from the headphone jack are in parallel with this resistor. And in fact, you see the, the LED gets a little bit brighter when I connect it um, because by putting the um, pathway with the headphone jack in parallel with this resistance, it actually lowers the resistance of the circuit. Um, but nevertheless, the the signal from the headphone jack is now um, riding on this um, uh, current that's going through the LED. And so now what I'm gonna do is push play on the computer with this uh, signal from the headphone jack going into the circuit with the LED. And so you don't actually see anything going on right now, even though that signal is going through the LED. Um, but as it turns out, the LED is getting slightly brighter and dimmer with the signal. So to attempt to pick up the signal from this LED, we have a photovoltaic cell here that is connected to a voice amp. So this voice amp is like what you would have on your belt if you were talking into a microphone. So instead of having a photovoltaic cell or hooked to this, you'd have a microphone hooked to this thing. Um, and so what I'm gonna do with this thing, uh, with this LED lit, is bring this photovoltaic cell um, near to the, um, the LED. And what you notice is that you start to hear the music. And notice that it gets quieter as I pull the photovoltaic cell farther away. Louder when I get close. So it becomes even clearer that that signal is riding on the light from the LED when you um, see that the, and hear that the sound goes away when you block the light from the LED with a piece of cardboard. Interestingly enough, the photovoltaic cell is picking up signal coming from my cell phone when it's directed toward the photo photovoltaic. You can hear that extra buzzing coming about when I bring my cell phone near this photovoltaic cell. Even without the LED. So it was a fun little project. If you want to try to make your own, here's a setup that worked pretty well for me. Um, here is my laptop. I used the signal from the uh, audio jack here. I put it um, around, I put it in parallel, I guess, that part of the uh, circuit with the audio jack in parallel with this 330 ohm resistor. Um, I had a nine volt battery, two 330 ohm resistors in series with this LED. Um, and then the light from the LED, um, whose brightness was fluctuating with the, um, with the signal uh, from the song um, hitting the photovoltaic cell. And then I just took that, the um, wires from the photovoltaic cell and uh, put it into a speaker. Somebody might want to try like a uh, you know, pair of headphones or a little um, crystal earphone. Um, but that was my setup and it was a pretty good time and uh, hopefully it works for you. Go give it a shot. Um, thanks for checking this out.